Hi from sunny Arizona here and it's going to be over 100 degrees today. I hope the studies are right that this heat kills the coronavirus so we're going to try to get outside as much as we can today. Um, my talk today, the title is Who Has Bewitched You? And I'm taking it from Galatians 3.1. It says, O oh, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed to you as crucified. Now, who are these people that Paul, who was writing the letter to the Galatians, who are these people that Paul called foolish and bewitched? The epistle of the Galatians was written to the churches scattered throughout Galatia, which is a part of Turkey. It is one of the most important writings of Paul because it compares grace to the law. Paul said salvation through grace alone was under attack by those in the churches of Galatia. Remember what Paul said in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. We are saved by what Jesus did on the cross for us. He took the penalty for our sins. There's no work on earth that we could do that we could earn salvation. Only he could do it because he was the son of God. He is the son of God and he is perfect and only a perfect substitute could take our sins on him. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, as John the Baptist said. Paul used strong language when he called the Galatians foolish and bewitched. Why? Because the Galatians had been bewitched into believing that they could be justified by their own works and not by the shed blood of Jesus. In, es in essence, they were people in the Gal there were people in the Galatian church who were spreading heresies, denying that salvation is by grace alone. They were causing confusion. They were causing havoc in the Galatian church. Remember, God is not the author of confusion. Only Satan is. God is the author of peace. So none of this was bringing peace to the Galatian church, and Paul knew that, and he cared enough to tell them the truth and uh, to try to get them out of this. Paul said that the Galatians had come under, under the spell of witchcraft. He asked them to tell him who had bewitched them because the evidence for Jesus' death and resurrection was so overwhelming that only a fool and someone under the spell of a witch would deny it. That is how strongly the evidence was. And indeed, the evidence is overwhelming. Since Paul had already preached to them about Jesus, the Galatians would have known the evidence for Jesus' death and resurrection. And these are, some of them, the fulfilled prophecies, the apostles as eyewitnesses, the 500 witnesses who saw Jesus alive, um, even Paul himself who heard Jesus on the road to Damascus and he made an incredible conversion from someone who hated Christians and was locking them up and agreeing to have them killed to someone who was preaching the gospel everywhere, to someone who believed and would risk his own life and for the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is how powerful his conversion was. So, and also the gift of the Holy Spirit in people's hearts is a witness to Jesus being alive because Jesus said that if he went away, he would give the Holy Spirit to his followers. That's to the Galatians too. So the Galatians knew all this, but they were confused by the ones who had brought heresies into the church. This denial of the sufficiency of Jesus' death to pay our sins is the spirit of the Antichrist. Even at that time, the spirit of the Antichrist was infiltrating the church. And Paul said this would happen. There would be wolves 
in sheep's clothing coming into the church and bringing damnable heresies that would even try to um, undermine the church. Interestingly, interestingly enough, the word of God says that the Antichrist himself, the man, will practice witchcraft. And this is in Daniel 8, 23 to 25. He will know dark sayings. He will prosper by craft, which is witchcraft. Paul's letter to the Galatians was an attempt to pull the Galatians out of this deceiving Antichrist spirit that had bewitched them. He wanted them to get back to obeying the truth that salvation is by grace alone and it's through Christ. It's a gift of God. It's not by works. So for you, I just want to tell you, these are the end times. Be careful that no one tries to bewitch you against Jesus Christ. Do not give in to foolish people or their doctrines. Stand firm in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the overwhelming evidence that Jesus rose from the dead and paid the full penalty for our sins. And we know that. We have his gift of the Holy Spirit. We're sealed for salvation. We know that Christ is alive. Christ in you, the hope of glory. You don't have to work to gain salvation. Christ did all the work for you on the cross. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for Paul's letter to the Galatians. We thank you that he was caring enough and bold enough to tell them the truth about what they had done wrong, and he wanted to get them back on track. He loved them so much, he wanted to get them back to where they were at the beginning, where they believed that salvation is by grace alone. We thank you that we will be bold enough to speak the truth in love to our fellow um people here and that um, we will not fear to do that and we just pray for everybody now that you would bless them keep them healthy safe and and just keep them doing the lord's work and trusting in your holy spirit trusting in you for everything that they need during this time and um, just let the word of the lord go forth and be glorified amen